Hello and welcome. My name is Chris and in this video I will show you how to use the drawing tools. Let's start by creating a new project. Click on create project and then choose the pen tool here on the toolbar or by pressing the P button on your keyboard. With the pen tool you can click and choose where you want to put the second point or node and then drag like that. Just click and drag. You can also choose not to drag to make straight paths like so. Also you can choose not to close the path by pressing the escape button. But if you want to continue this path and close it, you can do that by clicking on this point or this one and closing the path like that. You can also add more points or you can remove them like that. By pressing the Alt button and holding it, you can modify the edges and by Holding the control or command button, you can manipulate the handles. There is one more thing I want to show you when using the pen tool. You can preview how the path looks when you close it. Let's create the path. Now let's try to close it. If you hover over the closing point, it will show you a preview of how the path looks when it's closed. Like that. Now let's move on to the shape tools. You can click the rectangle tool here or press the R button on your keyboard. Click and drag to create a rectangle. If you hold the shift button, you will create a square. And if you hold the Alt button or the Option button, you can create a shape from its center. Like that. If you hold Shift and Alt or Option buttons together, you will create a square from its center. Each shape has its own set of specific properties. For example, the rectangle has the radius, which you can change here like so, or you can change the radius for each corner individually by pressing this button and change the values here, like so. Now you can also change the radius while creating the shape. Let's say you click and drag and while dragging you can press the up arrow key to change its radius and the down arrow key to decrease its radius. Moving on to the ellipse tool. You can choose it from this list of shapes or by pressing the E button on your keyboard. Click and drag to create an ellipse. If you hold the shift button while dragging, you will create a circle. To create a shape from its center, you hold the Alt button or the Option button while dragging like so. Of course, if you also hold the shift button, you will create a circle from its center. Moving on to the polygon tool. You can click it here or press the O button on your keyboard. Click and drag or hold the Alt, up, Alt button or the Option button on your keyboard to lock the shape in place like so. You can also change its sides by pressing the up arrow key or decrease its sides by pressing the down arrow key. You can change its roundness by pressing the right arrow key and decrease its roundness by pressing the left arrow key, like so. Of course, you can do that in the properties panel as well. You can choose its size and its angle, its size, and roundness, like that. Let's delete all of this, and 
let's see the star tool you can choose it here or press the s button on your keyboard click and drag and you also can hold the alt or option button to lock the shape in place like so of course like with the polygon tool you can drag and while holding the shape you can press the up arrow key to increase its size or decrease its size by pressing the down arrow key you can also press the right arrow key to increase its outer roundness and left arrow key to decrease its outer roundness like so if you hold the control or command button you can press the right arrow key to increase its inner roundness to decrease its inner roundness you press the other button the left arrow key button while holding the control or command button like so you can change the settings here as well and create interesting shapes let's delete all of this and move on to the polyline tool you can choose it here or press the W button on your keyboard. With the polyline tool, you can create shapes only with straight lines in straight lines like so. You can choose not to close the shape by pressing the escape button like that. Let's see it better by increasing each stroke width. As you can see, the shape is not closed. If you want to automatically close the shape, you can press the shift and escape button like so. Of course, here you can choose not to close it by toggling this button. You can close it again. And you can see how many points the shape has. Moving on, we have the line tool. You can choose it here or pressing the L button on your keyboard. With the line tool, you can just track the line. Track the line anywhere you want, like so. And of course, you can change its width and line cap like so. That's it for this video. Check the links below in the description. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time.